Hello and welcome. I'm having a go at the Microsoft Excel Collegiate Challenge, August Challenge today. Um, I, other than the kind of generic instructions on the first page, I haven't looked at it yet. But I know it's something about fantasy football and something about data cleaning. Uh, other than that, you're, we're going to discover it together. So first thing I need to do is enable macros because this thing runs on macros. Uh, so I don't need the unblock guide. So let's take a look at the data. So QBRB die. I don't know what any of these acronyms stand for, but that's fine. Uh, so where, what is this linking to? Oh, okay. No, I'm not interested in external links. Uh, okay, so we've got a bunch of players down here, 300, 400 or so. GP, and then I guess we have to fill in all the rest. I don't know. Passing, rushing, receiving. I don't actually know anything about fantasy football, so that might make this hard for me. But let's see. Defense data, kicker data. Okay, case questions. <laughs> the correct answers to questions 1 to 7 do not change. The correct answers to questions 8 to 13 update as the input changes each time the file is saved. Fine. Sure to reference. Yeah, I get that. That's the same every time. Your answers should be input. Yep, yeah, fine. You'll need to parse the player data on the blue tabs to answer all of the questions. Note that some of the spaces in the player data are not true space characters, but are Unicode character 160. That's a helpful hint. Okay, so... How many total spaces, i.e. spaces between words, are there in the entries of the player data over here? Okay. It's a very strange question, but okay. Uh, so I guess that's going to be... Well, sorry. I'm trying to be mindful when I do these collegiate challenge things that I'm doing it somewhat for a different audience than usual. So let's break it down. Uh, how many spaces are in this? Well, one way to do it is to find out how long is this, and then get the text that you get if you take all the spaces out of it, which you can do with substitute. So substitute space for blank, and then figure out how long that is. And the difference between those two should be the number of spaces. And I guess this is an example of where uh, not all of these things that look like spaces are actually spaces. So let's just let's try testing that quickly. So if I put that in here, then uh, left of this is this. And it doesn't like that. Let me try Unicar. Also value. Huh? That's weird. Uh, okay. Well, anyway. Let's just see if I get the answer right. So the, that's the idea. You should be able to just substitute out spaces and get it. If I get something that's way too small, then that'll tell me I'm probably supposed to be doing the same thing with, um, with character 160. But let's just start with this. So we'll say sum of the lengths of these minus the length we get if we substitute in here for space to nothing. 381. So that is way too low. So I guess let's also try substituting out. It says Unicode character 160. I'm guessing it probably means ASCII character 160. But I'll try both, I guess. So we'll try car 160 to blank. Okay, good. All right, so how many players have more than two words in their names? A series of characters separated by at least one space. Okay, so first I'm going to just substitute this uh, car 160 to space, um, and then if the question is, are there, well, so this thing of WR, min, WR, LAI, I assume this is not part of their name. This must be a team and a position or something like that. I don't, as you can see, know anything about fantasy football. Uh, but okay, so first thing I'm noticing is I don't know if there are ever double spaces, so just in case uh, so here, for example, if the, I mean, I can see there's only one space here, but if there was just in space, space, Jefferson, uh, then if I split based on spaces, I might get the wrong count. Um, but I guess, well, let me move this over here where I have a little more space. What I can do is 
text split split it based on where there are spaces and yeah so you can see there's a double space between wr and min so two ways you can deal with that you can either first trim and trim will remove double spaces and that should drop that out or uh, in text split there's an optional argument somewhere along the way uh, sorry, yes ignore empty so you can make that one or true and it'll drop out any anything that's empty between two delimiters and that'll get us what we need so i think what we're interested in is how many times is this more than four so uh, first we want to know how many pieces have we split it into i'm just going to say columns how many columns are in this and that's going to give me four and then i'm going to subtract off two because i think there's always position and team or whatever the heck those things are um, so i'm going to just cut that because i don't want to be putting it in here where there's some data columns that i might actually use so i'll put it over here and then i'll copy this down and then i will say uh, count if how many times is this greater than or equal to three and you need to have that in double quotes so in quotes greater than or equal to three and that is nine and that checks out now i said i was going to try and explain things but that doesn't mean i don't want to try and do funky things so i don't love having a bunch of kind of helper columns in here because if i have to answer 10 other questions that require me splitting this up in other ways i'm going to end up with a mess of helper columns also i haven't labeled this which isn't great i don't really want to insert columns here because that might break other things going on with the data so what i want to do is be able to work this out directly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to basically in in one dynamic array i want to apply this function that figures out how many names a person has to this entire column uh, and we can do that using map so i'm going to uh, actually, let me do it here first. So I'm going to say uh, equals map. Map applies a function to a whole range or multiple ranges, but in this case, just one range. So to this range, I want to apply the function that does all this stuff. And the way we say the function that does all this stuff in Excel is lambda. So lambda of x that does all this stuff. So instead of doing it to b8, we'll do it to x. And close and close. And that it's giving me a spill error. Oh, because there is some data down here. Interesting. Uh, oh, right. I guess this is like a difference between attacking and defending players or something. Anyway, okay, fine. Uh, so I'm just going to cut this and put it over here. And it'll still say spill until I delete all of these, but then it should reproduce that whole column. And it does. Uh, so then all I need is say that greater than or equal to three. And that'll give me trues and falses. So here, for example, is someone with three names. Uh, and then I just need to okay, wrap that in a sum, minus, minus. So the minus, minus uh, converts trues to one and false to zero. You can also, basically, if you apply any mathematical operation to a true or false, it'll turn into a one or zero. So you could say zero plus that, or you could say one times that. Um, because all of those don't change the value so let's just i'll go with one times because it makes it a little easier to read uh, or you can say if uh, that array of true and falses then one otherwise zero you might might be more comfortable with that uh, and that gives you the same nine and i'm going to cut that and put it back over here all right so i'm going pretty slowly right now but hopefully with some decent explaining oh what oh sorry yeah got it point to the range on the right tab. There we go. All right, so next question. How many players are on teams that have a two-letter abbreviation? Uh, okay, yeah, many of them have three, some of them have two. Got it. Okay, so what, I'm, what I want here is to find the last word, because again, I'm assuming that that is the team name. So I'm going to, first I'll do the same substitute of this for car 160 to space, and then I'm only interested in, in splitting on one thing. Um, and then I want to text split that, uh, or sorry, I want to take text after, actually. Text after, so find the text that comes after a space, and that'll give you everything starting from their second name, Jefferson WR Min. Uh, but then there's an optional argument here to say uh, instance number. So you can say after the first space, after the second space, after the third space, or you can put in minus one to say, give me what's after the last space. So here we get 
min lar lv sin and so on then uh and then again i can uh, apply that to the whole range Uh, and then I can say len of that is what do I want? equal to, I think. Um, and then again, just sum of, uh, say, one times all of that. you got to wrap it in brackets, because otherwise you're going to say one times the length is equal to two. And that will give you a, a range of trues and falses again. And that is 81, which is the answer we wanted, but we just want this to include the sheet name, so I'm going to navigate away to another sheet and come back. There are other ways to do it as well, but this will work. Okay, so then we're going to cut that and move it over here. Okay, which player has the highest number of targets, i.e. times the ball is thrown to them? Targets is abbreviated TGT. Thank you for telling me that, because I know uh, TGT. So if we want to find the highest number of these, uh, one easy way to do that is, well, the easier way to do it is to look up the max. So first we'll find the max of over that TGT column went here. And note that there's gaps in the data, so you got to make sure you get all the way to the bottom, uh, down to 379. Look up the max of that range in that range and return from the player name. Uh, or, if you have data where, you know, there's a reasonable understanding of what is a plausible range, uh, so TGT is never more than 150, so you could, instead of having to reference the range twice, you could look up some much bigger number, let's say 1,000 or 10,000, just to be super safe, uh, and say, uh, you're going to use the match mode to say exact match or next smaller item. That will also match against the largest value. And then you only have to reference the range once. Okay, what is the maximum number of characters in a player's name, including spaces, do not include the position or team abbreviation? So I think we can do this with uh, text before. So first, again, I'm going to start with substituting this uh, car. 160 to blank, uh, sorry, not to blank, to space. Uh, and then I'm going to take text before of that, before space. And here I just want to do, uh, so I mentioned before, you can do instance number to count either from the front or from the back. So here I think if we do minus two, that will leave us with the player name. Uh, the thing to keep in mind here is, oh, ah, sorry. Remember, there's a double space here, so minus two is actually just ignoring the min and then the gap between two spaces here, but not the wr. So I, do I also have an option to ignore blanks? I don't actually know. Hmm. Hmm. So how are we going to do this? What are the values that come in here? This. Hmm. Okay. So let's do things a different way then. I'm going to say text split. If you're a smarter or more sports informed person than me, you might just know what these possible codes are, but I'm going to try and figure out what all these possible codes are. So I'm going to text split that, uh, ignore, sorry, on, on the delimiter space, ignore empty, uh, and then I want to take the second last value of those. So I want to uh, let, let t be that text split, then I want index t by columns of t minus 1. And that gives me wr, and then I can try and figure out what all the possible... Okay, so there's only five. fb, qb, rb, te, and wr. Gone to my head, I think I could actually guess what most of those stand for, but I'm not going to embarrass myself by guessing wrong. So, so then... I'm going to do a new thing now. I'm, uh, sorry, I've got to copy value paste these so they don't go away when I change the other stuff. So those are my five things I want to split on. So now what I'm going to say is give me the text that comes before that. Um, 
do, do. So I'm going to say text before. So again, I've got my substitution and then text before that. Actually, I don't, probably don't need my substitution there. I'll do it just to be safe. Uh, so the delimiter is going to be all of these. I think I want it to be space and all of those. I, what, what I'm hesitating on here is if there's, if I cut off after the WR and then I can take off one space here, but if there's two spaces there, that could cause a problem. I'm just going to see if I get it right and then I can overcomplicate it later. So uh, I want a space and that thing. So in other words, give me everything that comes before space WR or space QB or so on. Uh, okay, so that's that. And then, oh, what? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, so it's not finding because I need to lock in this range. And actually, I'm not even going to lock it in. I'm just going to press F9 and hard code that. So this is, now I've got a fixed uh, range. And I don't need to have that in a cell. And then we'll fill that down. And so what is the question? Something about the length of the name? Maximum number of characters. Uh, okay, so. so that gives me 16, and now I think, because text before will work with an array, that I can just take this, reference the entire array, and then I'm interested in the max of that. Cool. So, like I said, this is subject to the weakness that um, that there could be there could have been a double space between the name and the uh, the player position so it wouldn't guarantee to work every time but and again I need to change this to refer to the range on this sheet but it did good enough for now all right so next thing who's the first player in alphabetical order with the minimum number of characters in their name oh boy all right so luckily I can just recycle most of this so I can say uh, for, well, let me come over where I have more space. Um, actually, let's do it just over here. Oh, there's lots of space over here. All right, never mind. Uh, let's just do it here. So I want to filter the list of player names where all that stuff is equal to the max that I got from here. Okay, and there they are, there's two of them, and I want to sort in order, and I still need to trim off the ending there. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to, I want to be able to refer to this text before a few different times. So I'm going to take that out and give it its own name. So I'm going to say, let uh, player name be text before all that stuff. Let's expand this formula bar so we can see, because I'm writing a bigger formula now. So that gives you the player name, and then what am I interested in? I'm interested in... Now I can filter just the player name rather than filtering the player name, including their position and team number. So filter PL name, where the length of, I'm going to replace all this with PL name, is equal to, and here I could just say the max of len of PL name. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. And then, so then that gives me. Uh, both longest players, and then I want to sort that and just take the first one. Uh, so then I'll wrap this in sort. And then I'll wrap it in take. So I'm going to take from all this just the first row, uh, yeah, the row one. And that's it. Okay. Last thing. Last player in alphabetical order. Okay, fine. So this is just the same thing, but I want to sort in the other direction. So here I'm going to sort this array, uh, sort order minus one. And that gives me that. Okay, so now the questions 11 to 18, 8, 8 to 11, populate all the data from the 
the tab for the player listed below. Note that the player name must be extracted from the player field in the data. Sure. Uh, what's okay? So I think what I want to do here is ooh, interesting. There is the possibility that this will have a space, but this one over here will have power 160, which would be messy. I'm going to just try the simple approach. I think we're just, if we're extracting 21 columns ending in FPG, are we literally getting everything? Yes, we are. So the if the data is clean enough, the nicest thing to do would be to look up this and star. Uh, and so this and star just means uh, an asterisk is any possible character. If you tell XLOOKUP in a minute, to use any possible character. So we're going to look up uh, in this column of player names, lock, returning from all this data here out to 21 columns, which is what we wanted. Uh, and then match mode is going to be wildcard character match. And if you uh, include wildcard character, that means an asterisk stands for any string of characters. So now that's anything starting with that player name. So how many rushing yards are projected for Jarek McKinnon? Uh, what is a rushing yard? It's got to be here. Yes, rushing yards. Simple. Okay. Uh, how many touchdowns? Is that this? No. That? No. Oh, maybe it's all of them. Okay, fine. So, some ifs uh, of this, where this blah, 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 blah. Here we are. Lock, no, not five, f four, uh, is TD. Okay, how many total fantasy points? Well, I don't know what's a fantasy point. I bet there's an explainer here somewhere. Anyway, uh, f points, ninety-seven point two. I guess that's it, and it is. Okay. All right. What are the total of the values in cells C five to W thirty-five? Okay. This seems like an odd question, but I'm happy to answer it. Okay. Question 12. Populate the fantasy points per game field for each of the players listed below. Uh, okay, so this is, I think this is saying this is hard-coded, so I don't have to worry about it. So let's just do this. Mm, hang on. Let me, is there a way to prompt it to change the data so I can see if this changes or not? No. All right, fine, whatever. <clears throat> uh, is the structure the same on all the tabs, I guess, is the next question. Uh, somewhat, but not entirely. Okay. So F points is here in column S. It's F points here in column P. Okay, are the headers always in the same row? In row seven, in row seven, and in row seven. Okay. Hmm. So the simple way to write this would be to just do a separate formula for each one. Uh, so it would be look up that name and star in uh, here. Lock. No, not that one. Lock. Returning from fantasy points. Lock. Uh, wildcard character match. And then just change the formula for the last two. The There is a possibility to write one formula that will work for all of these, so just for fun, let's try that. Uh, so, uh, sorry, is the name always in column B is my next question. Oh, this is a team. What? Oh, yeah, okay, fine. We're looking up teams. That's cool. Uh, so in column B and column B and in column B, yes. Okay, so what we can do is use the indirect formula to kind of construct a reference to different sheets. Uh, or actually, you don't even need to use indirect. Here's, here's what we'll do. We'll say... Um, switch on this. And if it's, you know, you know, then you're just writing three different formulas. Too painful. Uh, if we do it here, maybe it'll work. So switch on this. 
uh, so if it's this, ah, sorry, then we do this thing. So switch basically says do take an action according to a certain value. So if it's this value, do this thing. If it's another value, do another thing, and so on. Uh, so if it's go away, what's wrong with you? Nothing wrong. See? I don't know. Uh, so if it's defense data, then I can look up this. And then I don't think we need anything added to it because the team names are clean. In here, lock returning from here, lock. And if it is, or the last thing was kicker data. Then look up. Now I think we're back to having to add stuff onto the end. Uh, yep, it when it adds the sheet name like that, B46. And star in kicker data. Lock returning from F points lock. And I think that formula will work for all of them. It doesn't work here. Oh, sorry, yeah, because I didn't add the wildcard match for this one. Okie doke. All right, what's next? How many points per game is the assembled team projected to score? I assume that means I just add them up, but damned if I know. No. Uh, okay. Uh, truly confused. Do I want to, no, hang on, wait, this, this seems way too much. Am I looking up the wrong column? Ah, fancy points per game. Yes, I am. So I should be returning from column W there, Q, and T. Okay. So instead of V, go to W. Instead of P, go to Q. And instead of S, go to T. Okay, that makes more sense. And now... Uh, and now this is adding up correctly. All right. Question 13. Use the team and position given by the input parameters below. Note that the team abbreviation and position must be extracted from the player field. Fine. What are the sum of the fantasy points per game field for all the WRs on the NE team? Fine. So this is going to be uh, some ifs. Uh, fantasy points per game. So we're going to sum this, where this name here matches a pattern. And that pattern is going to be anything followed by uh, the position abbreviation, which is in C60, followed by anything, followed by the team abbreviation, which is in B60. And that's it. So are we done? Yes, we're done. Hooray. Okay. Uh, so I don't know, I, I did a lot of uh, floundering around there uh, because I don't know anything about fantasy football, but hopefully that made some sense. Uh, that's all I got for today. I'll see you next time.